2023. <laughs> back chat. Voice. Back. Lost my voice and I'm finally going through puberty. It's yeah. a big summer for me. Massive summer. Hair's been growing in all the random places I never yep. knew existed. But we're back. And Gooch. Back chat. How are you, mate? Yeah, really, really good. Yeah. Hammer's here. Yeah, welcome back. Got a nice little cozy for your can there. Yeah, cooler. isn't this beautiful? The sort of the shelter Yeti style cooler, stubby holder, perfect. We yep. are in a new set. We mm. have. Well, I'll tell you what we've been doing for the entire break: moving couches around. Yep. Just around the room as well, like not just one <laughs> yeah. spot. Then happy, you're like no, move, 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 yeah. move. And it's been hot, and I moved house. We as haven't. Well. well, we haven't put air conditioners in this area that we record in. My legs are sweating. I'm looking at my ankles. I have sweat on my mm. ankles. Nice. <laughs> Great ankles. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I really know when I get sweaty, sweaty legs and ankles. It's mm. really hot. So yeah, we're, so we're hot right now. Yep. Um, look, we've changed a few things around. Hopefully, you're going to like the new and improved back chat. It's not back chat 2.0. It's not even back chat 3.0. But Dan's in a new seat. Um, we've got a couch. They're pretty much the only changes. Yeah, that we're pretty about. much. There's a TV. Look, if you if you never watch YouTube, you got to just jump on and have a look because we've got a TV. We're we chucking some stuff up on the TV. Oh we? yeah, we will be. Oh yeah, we definitely will be. Um, so a bit of a bit of a change of things have been happening, but okay. all the uh, all the regular things. Oh, just belted. I'm, I'm, just, just, broken the I'm just taking the telly out. <laughs> I hope straight we didn't away. Lose Leo's head. No, nah, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Cameras, just getting comfy. Leo's head still there. What, Probably what, should have um, done this before we started. What hasn't changed is all of the regular places you can get in touch with us. Hello at backchatpodcast.com to you. The email and Instagram, of course. At backchat double underscore. Yes. Um, Hammer's been putting a fair bit up on yep. socials over the break. You've I've been, been playing active. golf almost every day. What else have you been doing? Uh, not a whole heap. You can't have been doing much more because no. literally all I've seen mm-hmm. is golf. I asked you to tag backchat. You haven't done mm. it once. Yeah, actually, that is that is true. I've um, my mind's been occupied elsewhere. I've been, uh, if you've been watching, I have been in just a deep pit of despair on the <laughs> golf course. It's been. <laughs> Since you've been doing them, I haven't seen <laughs> no, one go, no, no. g'day guys, hitting them well yeah. today, having a great day, <laughs> actually, I love golf. Actually playing pretty well. <laughs> Not even a swing, like no. how do you know he's actually playing? He no, f- I've, I've thrown a couple of swings in here and there. Yeah. I, um, I, For anyone who does know golf, 39 points was the best I had, which is very good for me. Okay, just give me a good or bad because I don't know what I was really is. good, probably one, maybe two out of 30 rounds over the break. I was okay for about six of 30. How and long does just a round dog shit play? for 22. Oh, it takes me about four hours. <laughs> So, that yeah, I've had 88 hours of just being horrendous on the golf course. Are you driving a cart? Uh, no, nah, man, I'm walking. Are As, you? Yeah, I walk the course as God intended. I don't like to drive the cart. You Get, just said, you, you slow asking what we're doing over the Chrissy Bra. You said you just lost six kilos in three weeks. Yeah, I have. Have I you have. been eating? I've been eating. Just not a lot. Not a lot. I uh, wasn't hard to lose six. From where I was, really? I was what were you at? Can't tell the people. I was oh, not. What do you want to keep it secret? No, nah, I was a bu- I was a buck four. Really? Yeah, I was I was triple figures for there for a little bit for a hot minute. Um, just copious amounts of alcohol and eating Christmas ham for a fortnight. Okay. Um, and the rest of everything that goes along with Christmas. So I enjoyed myself. Uh, did you end up getting the Christmas tree up for the kids or no Christmas did, tree? Yeah. Yep. Louis actually. Louis. Uh, like painted a Christmas tree on a piece of paper and then I stuck it up on the wall um, and that was good and Christmas presents fit under it it was brilliant he so Dan it. hates his kids and <laughs> I've been playing a bit of golf I don't know what well, I've been doing yeah, what have you been doing well, if you're waiting at a buck four, I reckon I'll be... Um, Not anymore, by the way. No, no. I, I would be buck teens, I'd say. Um, shit. And I'll walk around at 90 usually. So, no, no, sorry. No, in the 90s. Hang on a minute. Not, not, at, 90, not <laughs> at 90. No, I walk around it between 95 and 100. I reckon I'm well over 110 at the moment. When's, the, la- when's the last time you've been under 90 kilos, you reckon? Because oh. I've got a bet with my old man that by round one, the Monday of round one, which is 11 weeks away... I'll be under 90 kilos. This is the content yeah, we need for good. back chat. Yep. So, so how, how many more kilos is that then? That's about, or oh, it's Five. just a, a touch over seven and a half, probably eight kilos to go it, in 11 weeks. It's a little bit like, um, I don't know, the two minute mark in 800. I don't know what it is in the 2K time trial. You can get down under 630, yeah, say. Yeah, of course. But then every second under 630. Is a grind. So no question. You have how, you got 10 Ks to go. I've got 11 weeks or just under, so the, the rule, the bet is the Monday Leading into round one. So round one for us is Good Friday. So th- that Monday, I've got to be under 90 kilos. 89.9 is the bet. And what's the bet? What the bet is what I get... So uh, Can you reveal? The, yeah, I can. At the point of um, making the bet, the bet's inception, I was at the peak of my powers at about 104 and a half. <laughs> uh, and I'd been sitting at the dinner table and I was probably... Um, oh, I reckon I would have had 15 beers by this point <laughs> and no one else in the family was drinking. And seven I'm just kilos alone <laughs> in liquid. I'm just sitting there having a couple of beers and um, dad's sort of looking at me, shaking his head. Having two brothers 
that are elite at their craft and I am yes. happily sitting there just acting like a pig sometimes turns a few heads. Uh, anyway, the bet was made off the back of a couple of comments about, Jesus, you're, you're just a pig. What are you doing? Anyway, it became, what are you weighing? Fudge some numbers. But anyway, he uh, it was, righto, what's, can you get under 90 kilos by round one? I said, yep. It was 10 to 1 or something was the odds he offered up. So basically mm. we worked, and because golf was my uh, was my uh, weapon of choice at the moment, it was a brand new driver for me. Wow. Which will be the Stealth 2 and, you know, I'll put all the bells and whistles on it. Um, yeah. And for him, it is just like a golf wet weather jacket. So it's like basically 1000 or 1200 bucks to 150 bucks. And I've got until the Monday of round one to get so there. So you can butcher them with a brand new golf club. Taylor Correct. Made. Yeah, a tailor made. So I can hit them really, really badly with the best club. Can you, um, would you be able to maybe give us uh, some of your weight loss, like meals or something? And just we'll ch- maybe we <coughs> chuck them up on Patreon. Sure. And if you want to lose. How's your fitness levels going? Oh, I'm at an all. I'm at like peak of my my weight that i've never <laughs> i've never weighed heavier in my life well how about we all get on a journey together so could I you, think you <coughs> we could have discovered this without having spoken about yeah. wow. we may need we, to lose some weight for <laughs> <laughs> between the three of us if we lost 20 that's a massive effort yeah that's pretty good we just need to I think eat, not needs, eat i think it needs to yep. be more than that sauna every day is this bef- this is before the the Monday round, Charlie, round can you check the date there, mate? Yeah, so that would be the Good Friday. It would be, the, I think, the 8th of April. So, so there'll be a date. I think it needs to be more 23rd yeah. of, of... It's the 23rd of Jan today. Thank you, Charlie. Check Thank check you very much, Charlie. Check Charlie. the date of round one, mate. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's the 20th, I think. <laughs> oh, my. i got to be honest. <laughs> you got to be honest? You weren't listening? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> over there, <laughs> Charlie? <laughs> we just said, Charlie, check Great the date. Great start to the year. Great start to the year. Great podcast content. Check the date. What a check move. the date. <laughs> yeah, check the date. Uh, I would hazard a guess as to say it's the 4th of April we're looking at. Sure, okay. okay. Any confirmation over there, Charlie? Nah, happy with it. <laughs> yeah, look for when Good Friday is. What the, what the, what's the date of Good Friday for us? And then go to the Monday before yeah, Good Friday. And then go to the Monday before oh, Good I think Friday. it needs to be more than 20 kilos. So, yeah. so you're going to go about seven or eight more? I need right? to lose eight. Let's okay, call eight. it eight. So eight, 16, 24? Let's call it 24. I, I've got at least that in me. Like I am I'm, I can strip it pretty quickly and I'm heavy. All right. Should we make it three? Do we go 10? Should we reach for the moon oh, and go I'll on even 10? Like, I'm going to go some, I need some saunas quickly. Because eight. <laughs> Here we go. The 2nd of April. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Okay. Great. Okay, so, so eight for me is, is, is probably the weight I want to be. So I'm going to stick with eight. You're going to go 10. Far and you're going to go eight. I'm happy with eight, which is 30. That's 26 kilos. I would like to let the people know we have not discussed this. Yeah, this is all off the cuff. Okay, congratulations. Make Um, commitments so we're not going to (laughs) hold the first sentence. Yeah, What do you got for us, Daniel? Uh, Okay, so we are going to do a bit more uh, content with our people who are our roving slash roaming reporters. I don't know, we always alternate between the word. We used to read our emails, you'd send it in, and we always really appreciated that. But there's so much, we've got so much to get through that instead we're, we're creating something very, very Awesome! I'm so excited about I'm this. I'm excited about this, this WhatsApp group. It's the, it's going to be the a group of the the brightest sports minds in the country. Whereas instead of you sending us uh, an email about what you want to report on, you just chuck it in the WhatsApp group. Mm. One or two lines, maybe a video, maybe something funny that you can add, and then we'll use that to go through our next little bit. And so it's a very exclusive group. So this WhatsApp group has started, Hammer. I yep. haven't added you in, just added Charlie. And if he sends anything through, like the dates, the 23rd of January, <laughs> you're out. Yep. Um, <laughs> It's going to be, I think it's going to develop into a bit of a shit show, if I'm really honest. Yep, I understood. I can see it going that way, but right now it is what it's meant to be. There's some content coming in, people are sending in videos. We have our experts that were existing last year. Mm -hmm. They've all been invited in. If you would like to join the WhatsApp group, it is the Roaming Backchat Reporter WhatsApp group. Yep. You still need to put an application through to Hammer. Obviously, and I think, having not discussed this with you in any way, shape or form, considering that I have... Or I like to put the arbitrating hat on to decide yes or no. The I arbitrator fi- we call you. The sometimes. arbitrator. Yep. I feel Harvey. like I would. Oh, um, I would appreciate being given power of veto on the chat. Yes. Well, which yeah. will really make sure that we get some succinct. So that's before entry. You want a veto yeah. before entry and yeah. during the chat. So yeah, if, if I'm on there and I'm getting, I'll you make know, you if happy. we're getting too much content that isn't no. worth it, okay. you get three warnings. Okay. Three <laughs> warnings throughout the year. Once. Once. Yes. Yep. Tw- once is a, just a slap on the wrist. Yes. Twice is a week off. Yes. Three Ooh. times you're out. Okay. I good. would also like to throw out there yep. lack of contribution. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit there, you. Don't be there to pad the numbers. Ride, watching what Hammer yep. puts through we, on we the weekend. We call weekends. them workers on Reddit. Yeah, yep. 
We what, don't what want any lurkers. lurkers. Yeah. Do you know what happens over at Reddit? Nah, I'm not a big Reddit guy. <laughs> <laughs> Neither There's am people I. People just read it and they never contribute to the conversation. Right, so yeah. no lurkers no allowed. No lurkers allowed. But if you would like to join it, <coughs> mm-hmm. you've got to send a video message yes. to hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. Don't email us. We want a video message, Hammer, because I think yeah, we we're do. twofold. We get to see yep. who the I'd like to is. see what I'm operating with in terms of the arbitrator. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. So you are the arbitrator. I'm excited about it because I think it could be quite fun. As, yeah. the, as the year goes, I can sense a little bit of Bluebeck getting in there. Potentially. A little bit of weekend antics getting in there. Yep. yep. A little I'm gonna, bit of I'm Dan f- eating a lot of fishes in there. <laughs> I'm yeah. not gonna have to, I'm going to have to cut those out if we're going to... Yeah, that is true. You got, we got 10 weeks off the fillet of fish. So oh, wow, yeah. we don't... You know how we're going to do the McDonald's like all in... Eat for as long as you can. Let's, let's do that after. Let's do that after we've made weight. Okay. Yeah. And reward ourselves. Perhaps yeah. uh, someone will actually enter that competition because we did the Christmas giveaway on socials, yep. Hammer. Mm-hmm. Did a shelter giveaway. Did a whippersnapper whiskey giveaway. Yep. Did a little cameras giveaway. Yeah, we did. Did a Margaret River roasting giveaway. We did a back chat merch giveaway. Understood. Um, I think we did maybe one other. No, did seven. And then the, la- the the one that I thought would have entries coming from far and wide, a day at McDonald's with yep. Hammer, Dan and Scoey. Yep. How many entries did we get? We got zero, Hammer. Wow. We got Not none. a single one. That's so uh, okay. we're going to re-enter that. We're going to re- sure. re- gonna, gonna, repurpose it. We're going to repurpose it a little bit. We're yep. going to have someone down at Macca's. Don't know what we're going to do down there, but it needs to be after the date, which was what? The April. 2nd of April. It has to be yeah. after the 2nd I'd of like April. I'd like to sustain the wait for like a week or so and take my shirt off and feel good. Well, I mean, I'll, so be, I'll be entering a waffle season, so I should <laughs> yeah. be... I so dare talk. say it, I might be as well. If I strip 10 kilos, yeah, I don't think you will be back. back at East Perth. Scoey will be back. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah, You'd even tuck it, down the back pocket. I don't yeah, know. I like Four it. Pocket. Nimble. Where the worst players are. Um, Four pocket. Good example. I've got already an example from Leighton, um, our roaming golf reporter. Grab it. He's already sent us through something to the WhatsApp. I'm going to chuck it up on the screen. Oh, I love it. Yeah, this was just ridiculous. So this is um, Victor Perez, yeah, uh, French mind. golfman who doesn't was sound this, French. Got to be honest. Was this this was the for the win? Nah. Hammer? So this was yeah, the Dhabi Championship. yeah, Abu Dhabi Championships. I was watching this last night. Uh, Min Woo Lee, a friend of ours, was uh, right around and in contention. Sorry. And yep, Fr- friend of whose? Of a friend of mine. The Brayshaws? Yeah, the Brayshaws. Oh, my God. He's a friend of the Brayshaws. Sorry, mate. You know what we do here at Backchat, right? You <laughs> know, know what, what we do. do. Yeah, I know what we do. Is that Min Woo Lee? Yeah, yeah, Min Woo Lee. And uh, isn't brother or sister? Sister Min G Lee. So yeah. you know them both? I've met Min G once. You the two powerhouses of golf from you had, Perth. You haven't put that across the table. Yeah, not either. once. I have not. Please continue. Anyway, okay. so, so I was. This is, this is Victor Perez. This who's, is Victor Perez. Who's, I was, as Leighton says, razzed one back. This out was of the just stupid. So win. he was winning by one. He was one shot up on Min Wu going into the seventeenth. He was one hole ahead of Min. So he this hit is his, on the This is on the seventeenth hole. He's hit this into the bunker, and Andrew and I are sitting there just saying, "Yep, he just he's going to bogey this tough up and down, and then Min will be right back in it." And Give us a look. All right, so let's have a look at this shot. Oh, got a bit of volume. He's hitting this out of the sand. Out of the sand. Watching. He's hit it way over there. Flown it over. See One, two, hole. check, rip. My goodness. In your life. <laughs> In your oh. life. Devastating. And he's given it a bit for a golfer too. Yeah. He's yeah. given it the double hand. How are you? Yeah. Standing ovation from the crowd. And that's effectively won in the tournament. How much would have been on the line there? That was 1.5 million euros. Oh, that, that chip. So what happened after that, on the 18th hole, there was more drama. He almost shit the bed. Drove it into a bunker and was in a shit lie. Tugged it left, nearly lost the ball. He made a six, which meant Min needed to eagle, which is two under. And I don't think you've got the video, but Min had a chip for eagle to force a playoff hole that just missed the hole on the way past got to a top of a hill and just rolled right back at the hole, right back at the hole, and the last second just ducked left. No. Missed it by about two inches. Dang. To wow. force a playoff. It was unbelievable. But um, no, nah, credit to Victor. He was, uh, he was a robot in the so last round. So that's come good. from our roaming WhatsApp group, which I'm excited about. Yeah, yeah from that's a massive. Yeah. If that's so the content, that, that's that's the the content we're of, getting. That's the sort of stuff we want. So I'm going to throw one at you that didn't <clears> come through to the WhatsApp group. This sure. is one that, that I saw and didn't really love throughout the off-season. It was from the Fremantle Dockers. Right. Um, so this is just some clips of, uh, of the morning, you know, straight off the camera. So we got, we got big, Fifey's whipping big ropes. Fifey looking absolutely a million bucks there whipping ropes. He doesn't need to lose any weight. Let's, no, just, he let's just scroll down a bit, though. So we got, uh, we got Jono. 
Yep. Matty Johnson. Matty Johnson. He's on There's the There's someone floor. in the background with no top on, and Matt Johnson is lifting a 10 kilo weight with no top on. Yep. yep. So Can't say that's big weight. Let's, let's, scroll, let's scroll down a little bit. Piercy. <laughs> big moose. Topless. Topless in Topless. boxing yeah. gloves. Yep. We can keep going here. Yeah. Uh, Corbett. Lukey Ryan. Is it? Oh, I can't see. No, no Corbett. That's Josh that's, Corbett. That's, that's Josh Corbett. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realise him does, with no fucking yeah. top on. It does look like it. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, another one here. Oh. Hang Understood. On. Views dismiss that. Yeah, this will be Liam that. Henry. Yeah, Liam Henry. A bit of um. He is just so enormous. Isn't looking he? good. Shredded. Yeah, hey, you specimen. can't bag any of these. Rigs, no, no, but God, I no. haven't seen a top. These are there's four. I can't. Who are those blokes? Yeah. One of those looks like David Mundy. That's probably not. No, I wouldn't someone, have thought. Draper, someone's got Pearson, someone's on the ski H. machine. Yep. Yep. And then we got a uh, Liam Henry oh, again, so, looking jacked. So, so, it's, is Fifey the only bloke with his top on? That's yeah. Fifey behind him, yeah, that which is, is surprising. So I got to ask, I got to ask you guys: yeah. shirts off? No. In training? God no. What's the deal what's there? The, yeah, what's the deal at East Perth? Because I know what the rule is at West Coast. The rule it's, at it, the rule at West Coast is you don't not, take your shirt off. You're not allowed. No. Like, so the rule at East Perth. Well, there's no hard and fast rule at East Perth, but. Um, we don't have the luxury of just having heaps of bibs out there when you need to change teams. So it's every now and again, it's blues, whites and shirts yes. and skins. Sorry. Yes. So like you every now and again have to take your shirt off. Right. But I um, love that. That's proper local footy. Yeah. You, don't have, you don't have the white and the blue bibs. <laughs> yeah. I'm certainly not in the, uh, I'm not volunteering to go in the skins group unless, or except for in another 10 weeks when I'll be throwing the shirt off. What does it actually do? Taking, mm-hmm. taking your top off. Just um, maybe devil's advocate. Yep. What's the positive side of taking your top off? Uh, Dear, are you cooler? Positive side, in my opinion. Uh, well, I mean, if you're looking like Liam Henry, it's <laughs> yeah, it's a win. I'd be taking it off. It does not own a shirt. But um, <laughs> it does. I mean, if it's hot, it's hot. I get that. But like, if you're sweat, if I'm sweating, I swe- I'm a sweater. I'm and so sweating. are you. My ankles are still My sweaty. shirt gets form. heavy. <laughs> like, my shirt gets heavy. And it just, so, it aerates your body and you feel good about yourself. Oh, I thought you were going to say taking it off is like aerodynamic. You, you no, 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 no. You just, right. you, it just like, it. Let's the air hit your body. You cool down. You're wet. Yeah, I'm wet. I drip. But um, <laughs> dripper. Yeah, I'm a dripper. But even still, like you get relief for what 15 seconds, and then you just sweaty again. Yeah, I right. don't see a bit the of benefit of sunburn as well. Yeah, not not great. Look, I'm gonna be honest. Free. I've had some um, over the years. They've had some questionable. Um, that they do the sh- uh, they do the 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 bike shorts. Yeah, a usual undershort type garments, but it's a it's just a. Yeah, you know, you know um, a couple of eggs and sausages hanging out. On, on yeah, no, right. I can't stand them. The uh, that's almost the little two XU numbers. Yeah, the two yeah. XUs, the the quarter quaddies yep. that should be under your shorts. Yeah, no shorts over the top. No, nah. I've seen that a little bit from them. Yep, I don't. Oh God, it's um. Yeah, I just can't handle training in no shirt. I mean, yeah. if I had a rig like that, I probably would be saying some different things. But I've never in my life <laughs> looked like that. In your life, yeah. ten weeks in though. In your life, yeah. give One me ten. Calls. Give me ten weeks. Okay, um, I'm going to read you something from Reddit that I found on the AFL. I'm doing Reddit. the podcast shirtless in ten weeks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Charlie, you know I said write down highlights, mate. That's a highlight. <laughs> I will see you there yeah. with a shirt on. We're all doing shirtless podcast in shirt. ten weeks. <laughs> Done. Uh, I am not. Should we make it? No, we wanted a positive thing. But that's not really a reward, is it? Like if we all lose ten, if we all lose our things, like you get to do it shirtless, mate. If I lose ten kilos, I'll be ripped within an exactly. inch of my life. How good would that be? I'll just sit here doing the podcast, yeah, exactly. like double flex, like yeah, get out, here you go, yeah. let's go build here. So. We have to make it an R eighteen plus rated pod. Or how about this? So a punishment. So you, we've both, we've both said eight, yep. and you've said ten. Yes. If we team. don't get there, shirts off. If you get there, you can sit there with your shirt on if you want. Okay. If you don't, it's shirt off. So if you do Ooh. get there, you can take your shirt off. If, if you'd like to. If you're feeling good about yourself, you can take it off. If not, shirt off. All right. Let's, let's have a think about that. Yeah. Dan not, doesn't, not, want, I'm, yeah. doesn't want it I'm enough. not willing to commit. Dan doesn't want it. All right, this is from Reddit. Um, uh, from I'll shake your hand on yeah, that. Username Basil Devonish. He's a Dockers fan, apparently. Um, this is the... Do you guys know Tom Bell? That name ring a bell? Brisbane and Carlton. Uh, yeah, it does. Now that yep. you've said that, oh, okay. Rings a bell. Or <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Sorry. Very ring a ding a ling. This is a, so. This is <laughs> a big tall midfielder. Yeah. Big, big body midfielder. Big there you go. Uh, this is from Basil. Big boy uh, belly. So I came out the front of my house the other, the other week to find a sheet of gyp rock dumped against my fence. I was a bit miffed, and so I walked <laughs> around my street to see if I could tell where it came from. I remembered there was only one house in close proximity to mine that looked like there'd been some construction going on. I walked past uh, said house and saw that there was a very similar piece of jit rock laying somewhat <laughs> obscured behind the side fence. I was extremely tempted to dump my newly acquired uh, piece in the front yard, but I couldn't be 100% sure, so I just disposed of it myself. 
<laughs> Next time I walked past the house in question, I noticed a young guy who'd been coming and going, doing work on the place, and thought he looked familiar. In the past, um, I thought he'd been doing the construction and interior work, and maybe he wasn't the owner. It turns out he was his place, as he's now there living with his partner, and his partner called out, Tom, do you have the keys? And it clicked who it was. Did a quick Google, and sure enough, it was X blue and line, Tom Bell. So yeah, Tom, what the fuck, bro? You're new to the area. Don't be a dog. You owe me a six-pack, champ. <laughs> <laughs> There's wow. so much to unpack there. This is Jip Rock Gay. Why is Tom Bell <laughs> Just dumping a it. sheet of Jip Rock like in your neighbor's house as if you're going to get away with it? Well, yeah. What's the point? I don't get what the point of that is, firstly. And Baz, is this, was it Baz? Basil Dev, like that's his username, yeah. Basil Devonish. Like um, Basil Zemplis. Yeah, <laughs> like anyway, I'll tell you what it's I like didn't Basil. like about that. I'm just going to go straight to what I didn't like because it's fresh, with, fresh in my mind. Um, a six pack. That's what I was yeah. going to Have you listened uh, to the 11 Rules of Being a Man? Always <laughs> buy a not. carton. He's going to get you a carton. He's not getting you a six-pack. So yeah. you reckon knock on the door and say, mate, you owe me a carton for the Jip Rock? I think, well, I mean, it's certainly a bold accusation. He could have, Tom Bell's house could have been a victim of the Jip Rock and it could have been someone else. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> he could someone, have just spread the Jip Rock around. Dump, dumping Jip Rock. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been. So, well, uh, I, I think the, you just cop that on the chin. The, the listeners of Backchat actually haven't heard the 11 Rules of Being a Man either. Oh, haven't they? Yeah, it's Patreon. Patreon. There yeah. you go. So we've just done a little, another sneaky. Wow. Mm. If you do want to listen to them, they are, they are still on Patreon. Yeah, absolutely. They're well, well worth it. $5 no a month, $10 a month, $20 a month. There's all these different areas. Oh, oh, sorry, I still want to put them Patreon. on a t-shirt. Yeah, uh, yeah I and think You don't so. have to yep. sign up to Patreon, just buy a t-shirt. Just buy a t-shirt. wear it all the time. Yep. I want to put them on there. Is it against the rules of your old man? Nah, I don't think so. Spread the message. It was your old man and his mates. Yeah, old man and his mates at Stephen Ear's 50th birthday. And they were all sitting around and having a couple of tins and uh, came up with, put the, the brain trust together and came up with the 11 rules of being a man. Really, Love it. I really, Love I really it. liked them. Do you think One of which you, is always buy a car. Do you think Sticks Never would come with a six of pack. the sales? Uh, Sticks, no. Nah, he's not a... He, Good. He doesn't, he doesn't of the beers, that. off of the merch. Off the merch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. God, God, no. Um, changing tact a little bit, Peter okay. Bowl, friend of the family of Ooh, Backchat. Yeah. Uh, pretty... Ro it, it rocked us. We were, we were together when, the, when that post came out. Not to, you know, just... Next like we weren't job. dating at the same time. <laughs> we weren't dating at the time. It was just that we were next to each other. Yeah, and we were like synthetic bowl. Sat there in silence while we um, <laughs> while we read what had happened. Um, we have talked. We talked a little bit about uh. um, the situation on the Shelter Footy Cast <laughs> earlier. So I don't really want to dwell on that side of things. But I thought it was a good way to sort of delve into drug testing um, for you guys yeah. in your history. So I did ask you, Scoey, how many times you'd been drug tested in your career. So 14, 15 years. Yeah. How many times you reckon? Well, I reckon, so this is under, but I'm going to get into it in one second. Uh, I think it was 18 hours prior to Peter Boll coming out and saying his life had basically ended because he tested positive. Dan Constant hit him up on Instagram saying, G'day, mate, any chance you want to come on the podcast again? Yeah. Just randomly. And then yeah, literally eight, 18 hours later, I reckon, it, I reckon it's a no at this stage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, drug testing, yeah. Um, I reckon by ASADA, which is now the Australian Sports Integrity. Yep. Is that it? Something like that. I don't yeah. think they have anything at the end. ASI? ASI, maybe. Yep. Um, I reckon twice a year on average, mm -hmm. sometimes more, maybe like sometimes one, but it was never none. Um, sometimes I've had probably three door stops at six AM in the morning. Yeah, never. Yeah, so, not so not post match. So not post match. Yep. So so there's game day testing. Yep. There's in comp uh, so which is in competition. Then there's like away from competition, which can be any time three sixty five days a year. And then there's the illicit code at the AFL, which is run by sort of like local testing agencies, Dorovich, which is run by the AFL. So if you included them all, you're probably getting tested five times a year with hair mm. testing, blood testing. And urine, urine samples, but Asada and Wada, which is what Peter Bowles been done under. Yep. That's uh, that's that's. I always used to get nervous. Yeah, always because because what's happened to Bowley, to Peter Bowl? I don't know. You know, he's come out and said he's innocent. If he's innocent, something's got into his system it somehow. That's what I was always scared. Yeah, of. Always scared of that. Had, had a banana and had a bit of APO floating around. Yeah, that <laughs> having that having been said, it's a just. There's not many that come out and just say, "Yeah, I did it." Yeah. Took Lance Armstrong a while to come around, didn't he? Oh, <laughs> it wasn't, he, he denied he was it to the hill. Right. Was, wasn't there a photo like this sitting in his room in front of his seven things on his wall? Didn't he pop yeah, that up? Saying I didn't do it. And then he was on Oprah. Yeah, sorry, I actually did it. Um, just quickly on hair testing. <laughs> yeah, where, where do you... Where? Do you where, 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 when it was shaved, is it beard for you or...? Um, they couldn't do beard, couldn't do facial hair. Uh, it Pubes. Was, it was on <laughs> underarm. 
<laughs> Got a lot of ass. Yeah. But, uh, um, arm hair. Arm hair. Yeah, wow. Arm shit. Hair. Oh. So I loved how you looked at my hair, summarised. Do I call him bald? Or nah, just talk it's about short. Him? Yeah. Nah, because I used to have it really short. And yeah, yeah it was arm and leg hair. They, they, they can't they can't take pubic or facial hair. That's interesting. Do um, they do yeah. they watch the urine come out of the the penis? Yeah, mate, they do. I, excuse um, me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking excuse me. No, no they do. You know, you know how <laughs> they do. That, they that's do. a sort of that's a sort of question that you've been yeah. sitting around no, for a long time guys thinking that about. Had like fake penises. Well, like, the, with a little. I mean, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, imagine, there is there is a right, scene in Blue Mountain imagine, State. Yeah, have you I'm, seen I'm, that? Yeah, I'm, Blue I'm, Mountain I'm, State. Can you imagine state. Roland? So so these Asada and Wada tests are random, right? Very you just don't random. know what happened. Yeah. So for you to have a fake cock, <laughs> you you're, yeah. you're rolling around twenty four seven. Strap on. <laughs> You've got a fake penis. Yeah, we fake urine in there strapped, somehow. Sp- strapped to your leg, mm. and then uh, all right, guys, yeah, good to go. You just got to yeah. carry urine everywhere. <laughs> yeah, clean urine. So, because what happens is, to no, explain, but seriously, so you pull your pants. Yeah, can I? Well, I mean, yeah, go go, go back please. to the very start. When you when they roll into the club, it's like the. Uh, it's, the, it's a witch hunt. Who it, it, is everyone sort of seeing? Who are they going to come up to when they come up to you? And it's hi, my name is this, this, and this, and you've been selected. They're in like white lab here. coats. Like yep. it's scary. Yeah, I. Ah, oh, this is embarrassing, but oh well. I um perfect. Yeah. We love this. <laughs> I was in my second year at the clubs. So this would have been 2019. Got selected on training day for a random drug test. I already know where this is going. There is the you've got your drug testing room, the doping room, <laughs> and to answer your question, Dan, yes, they have to have a full visual of the specimen coming out of. Or the sample coming out of the specimen. They do not leave you once they introduce themselves <laughs> yep, to yes. you. It is if you leave their site, it's a strike. Yeah, mm-hmm. you get a. Yeah, and I had nothing to give at this point like i was in there and i just i pissed before i came in to the club and like it's early in the morning and i just got nothing in me like i'm physically incapable of urinating and i'm like yeah mate let's just get this done no worries in there straight away first time i've ever had it done your pants have got to go down like halfway up down your quads and you've got to pull ankle you can go ankles if you want that's a little bit (laughs) that's forward Certainly introduce yourself to the test. Your, so yeah. yeah. your ass is out, it's but it's below halfway pointy, it's almost at your knees, and your shirt have to lift up to about your rib you know, bottom of your rib cage. It so, has to so be So you can can see the fake cock cords. Yeah, coming correct. It's just yeah. like if it's he's got a full frontal of your cock and balls. Um and they and stand I, front on. <clears> yeah, they stand front on and just watch it. So I had I mean, it couldn't be comfortable for the testers, firstly. Secondly, it couldn't be comfortable when I'm sitting there trying my best or standing there what trying my best know? to... I'm standing there trying my best to piss, but, like, can't. And you know that feeling when you're just trying to squeeze so hard you think you're going to shit yourself? <laughs> like, I'm sitting there, I farted, I'm like, I can't piss. I'm like, mate, this is not working for me. He's like, right, let's go out. Have a, like, I had a little bit of water. I was just walking around. Not allowed to train until you've done it because, like, he has to be there. Anyway, I'm just sculling water, sculling water, sculling water. And... I'm not sure of the scientific facts around this phenomenon. What about just the literal facts? No, no, no. Well, I don't know. I often find sometimes in the morning (laughs) you wake up somewhat firm and you need a piss. (laughs) Anyway, I had this... You're a backers. (laughs) Yeah, you're a backers. Wake up. Morning wood. Get up, need a piss. Anyway, I started, went in there, was like, mate, this is coming out. It's nonstop here. Walked in there and (laughs) would have been, would have been, Awkwardly, about fifty percent hard, and I'm just pissing <laughs> in front of this bloke. It was just—he has to watch. So I'm sitting there, we're just sort of like trying to aim this cup up a little bit as it's <laughs> as I'm sitting there with a sort of semi. Fuck, it was embarrassing. But I'm just like, mate, uh, what do you do? Did, was there any comments? Mate? No. What? Do you, what comments is it? Oh, how's the weather? <laughs> Fucking hell. Meanwhile, I'm standing there saying, "Geez, the toilet water's pretty cold, isn't it?" Obviously not. Cause I'm nowhere near that big, but um. Yeah, it was uh, it was certainly an experience. I've heard of a player uh, no longer on the list. They came to his house six o'clock oh, in the morning. I know who it is, and it's hilarious. Um, they came. It's a Sada, so you 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 can't leave the site. And he said, "Guys, you just woke me up. Um, I've got to do a wee, but I've I've got to do a poo as well." <laughs> so they said, "No worries. If you're weeing at the same time, you got to do the sample while you're pooing, or if you can hold the wee." You, you, we've got to watch you. Impossible. We've got to watch Impossible. you. Impossible. We've, we've got to watch you poo. So um, they were two female testers. Oh, that's rough. And it was at home at this player's house. <laughs> so he had to do it. To do a shit with the door open. I <laughs> stood <laughs> and watched him, and he and he physically pin, held his <coughs> penis so he didn't. Um, piss at the same time. That's brutal. And um, continued on with the test, and it, and he and he did the test, and he 
couldn't have been more apologetic and was yeah. just so brutally <laughs> so embarrassed. It's so awkward afterwards as well because you, you, spent, you then had to sit have, there for yeah, 40 minutes. Yeah, like you got to sit minutes. there for 30 minutes like filling forms. Filling forms, samples. The A and B there. sample. <laughs> so you know how they're talking about Peter Bowles' yes, B sample? Yes, yes, yes. So you do an, an A sample um, and then they, they the, of the same urine – you pour some into. You have to do it all as well. They don't touch. They don't touch anything. That's so. Right. There's no contamination. You, yeah. You've got a jug of your own piss, and you, you're pouring it into a. Cup. And it's warm as yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's warmer this player. Yeah, warmer it. than you think. And this player's just shit in front of these two <laughs> women. <laughs> so then you have to pour it into your B, and then they've got these like metal click caps, like yeah, yep, tighter and tighter, tighter. Then you have to wrap yeah. them up in plastic. <clears> then you have to bind them in tape. Then you have to put stickers over. Then you have to put barcodes. Then you got to verify the barcode. barcodes. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, I, I, but from all that, um, the two things you told as an athlete, whatever's in your system is your responsibility. No matter how it gets there, if it's a mistake, if it's um, a deliberate act of that's you know, the scary part. Someone, isn't it? someone doing it to you, trying to you know get a leg up on your competition. If you do it yourself, it's it's your responsibility. So that's why it's scary. That's why I don't. I, I grave fears for Peter Bowl at this stage. Yeah, because it absolutely. doesn't matter what's happened. If it's there, it's there. Yeah, it's. Um, I think you can get your center. I mean, with enough credibility behind the statement, you can get four knocked to two every now and again. Oh man, that's but, still, um, that's it's still, still a long time. Still has to be an athlete for the rest of his life. Like, oh, that's him. You know, they call him a cheat and stuff like that. That's true. It's hard to like it. hard to erase that from everyone's memory. Yeah. Well, yeah, um, I know what else is hard to erase: doing a big shit in front of you, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> or pissing somewhat hard in front of an old man. I've um, I've while he's a, staring at you. I've got a video ah, well. that I'd like to show you guys, and it's it's not about um. You know, it's not, it's not a bird's eye view of that. It isn't, that, it isn't the video of uh, that player pulling. I actually got that. That's <laughs> what <laughs> he should say. He sent it to me before. He was wearing a body cam <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> this, Shit. this is probably better, though. Um, I'm wow. just going to chuck it okay. straight up here. You might see. Um, yeah, that's me. You, you can just put your head forward a little bit, Scoy, because I'm still just trying to. Down? Yeah, yeah, just so I can. Oh yeah, there this is go. the session after I tested positive. Okay. I All right. didn't test positive. So, after I was pissed. So what? anyone, what anyone who's um, uh, you know, watched Watching. our YouTube channel would have seen Will Schofield reacting to his 2018 grand final highlights. Yeah, it's quite Exception. a good video. Um, yeah. you know, it's it's good. good we, can, we can do that again <coughs> anytime you like. We can do that anytime again. Um, and I went on YouTube today and I was trying to find um, you know, Hamish Brayshaw's. Yeah, um, tough to find. Highlight reel. And How I long did, does this go for? This goes for just over a minute. Yeah. Wow. Um, so I thought I'll play it. And I did put a little backing track on it as well yep. because it's got some had some of your talking on it and yeah, I tro- had to chop it up. What would you like it? Some reactions? I would just like some of your reactions. Sure. Can I react? You, Of course. Of course, yeah, instantly I'll, I'll, I'll I'm I'll under 90 that. kilos there. Instantly you're on a basketball <laughs> court. This is not a good yeah. start. This I is think a bend I was at, actually there that day. Bend yeah, this is a Bend Out Basketball Centre. I'm about 88 kilos there and I'm 19 years old. Let's go. Oh, backing track. What a kick. Strong. Oh, Look at those quads. I'm, Have you seen a better ass to quad clean. ensemble? Did you hit the target? Uh, probably not. Oh, what a smother. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Strong. Cop that. 2K time trial. Six minutes 50 that day. Leading Yeah, it went way too hard early and then died. <laughs> Gassed. Not there. Mark of the century. Big mark. <laughs> Just a chess mark. 24 wants it badly. Yeah, it you have it. Oh, you've passed Number it 51 I was for the Mighty that's Royals. A yep. Oh, that's a sausage. You look skinny there. Mate, I'm under 90. What the hell? Walking. The enemy. <laughs> Walking. Me and the enemy, Gaffy. <laughs> Kicked out on my left. Thank you very much. I saw that. Against South Freo. Boys get around you. Yeah, mild, they did. They did. Mild they did. getting around. Yep. It's not an everyone get to you. Yep. Some... Oh, with a neat. Yeah, I had a fat pad issue there. That was uh, that was post surgery. <laughs> the highlights. Yep. The behind view of you yep. doing a single leg raise on a box. Yep. Oh, that's strength, isn't it? Look at that ass. You're injured here. I oh, know. <laughs> Fuck, I was a weapon. Look at those quads. Holy shit, I do. Yeah. <laughs> it's an extended gym session <laughs> yeah. on the highlights. Yeah. My you're high- swapping yeah. a kettlebell. Fuck, look at those triceps. Ground. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, shit. get a bit of that in here. Sorry, Damo. Yep. Had to blow it out of the area. Shit. Well, I mean, firstly... Can you give me a look at him smacking that... Firstly, <laughs> yeah, can we get back to that... Take it back to that... Ta- oh, yeah, there it was. Go. Look at those yeah. arms. Fucking Look hell. at you hit this... Ooh. Oh, yeah, get a bit of that in here. Yeah. Also, was that, I was wearing ankle socks there with those boots. That was a bit weird. Um, instantly, I'm looking at that and thinking, shit, I was like I was slim. I've eaten myself. 
You look good. But that's what happens, I guess, you when you're young a full-time well. athlete, don't you? Doesn't you it? look young. Well, I, mean, I was 19 like, there, yeah. yeah. You're 24 now? Yep. I mean, you're still yeah. pretty you're young yeah, pretty yeah, still pretty, pretty, pretty 25 old. pretty soon. But yeah. um, I apologise again, Dave. Mate. You've caught my um, yeah. yelling in here. That was, uh, sorry, sorry to listeners as yeah, well. Yeah, that was interesting. So just it, just so you, like, if people are confused why there was gym training in your highlights, it wasn't actually a highlights reel. It was just a, a three-minute package courtesy of um, Eagle Vision. How many touches did you have in the game at AFL? Five, mate. Five of the best. Yeah. Yeah, uh, how many kicks? Two, one set shot which missed, and a mongrel punt to Jared Brander that hit him on the chest that he dropped. Um, <laughs> so that'd make his highlight package. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah good, very good. Like All right, it. that's it. That's yeah. that's it's it. That's the show. Little, little wrap around. No, that's oh. no, that's the little wrap around. I just wanted to finish it off with some uh, hammer good. highlights, hammer, some hammer content. Yeah, that's yeah. um, that was yeah, that was me. And my first year, no, got nowhere near a game. Was injured for half of it. And that, yeah, I'm happy with that. No, that's good. I good mean, little real. a bit more subdued than I would have liked. Uh, well, hang on a minute. I was like we're like opening some wounds here. <laughs> right? so could have been. No, 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 I was all right. The fat Pat still gives me issues every now and again. Perfect. But hey, one that's going to be me in 10 weeks. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Shit, right. Right. We'll, we'll strong. be watching another one of those in about I've two months' time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, that is, <laughs> Alex will be <laughs> stuck. <laughs> yes, she will be. Yeah. Uh, one thing we are going to be keeping on doing this year is Blue Bet. Oh, yeah, we are. The blue bet, uh, the multi that we've been putting together. Yep. We've got some different things that we are doing with it um, this this year. We're not ready to really reveal what those are. We yep. can give a teaser. A tease. I would like a bet every week that remains exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to say what's going to be in it, but it's going to be a four leg multi. Same formula. That never changes. That the, the, okay. the, the items in the multi bet do not change. The game changes, whatever game we make, Friday night footy or yep. maybe the West Coast Teams game, maybe the Freo yeah, game, whatever understood. it is. But it's going to have four areas in it that never change. And I like that. Could be and a bit of luck involved. I might and to the AFL, who are no doubt listening to this, as an employee of the West Coast Eagles, I will be gaining no financial benefit from any of these I bets. We did speak about this. Hey, Mark, yeah. time to leave. Just go and stand up, go away. We're oh. talking about betting. Oh, you can't be involved. Go on, hop up. I'm not allowed to be involved. Yeah, just go on, stand over there. It's got nothing no, to do with yeah. you. Absolutely nothing to do. Yeah, Piss off. Go on, go and get um, yourself a beer. This is our out. Get See the boy. Um, the boys over at the uh, Damo wants a beer. Yep. Charlie wants a beer. Are you listening, Charlie? Charlie's listening. Charlie wants a beer. Damo wants a beer. Uh, Dan wants a beer. Want so a, another zero out, please. Um, Hamish will have absolutely nothing to do with this. He has absolutely no input. No, no input. I actually, if he He's if he if he did, I'd say shut up, Hamish. You have no. You the don't people know. who have input. Yes. Myself, yourself, yes. Charlie, Damo, yes. anyone else in the backtrack team, That's great. not Hammer. Hamish will be stepping away from the podcast. He'll be going outside, he'll be getting a breather. Um, maybe do some some sprints up and down. Yeah. Lose another little couple, couple of hundred couple grams. Of grams. <laughs> uh, he will be uh, the cone of silence. So he yep. will not be in here. It has nothing to do with any of this, anything to do with betting. Uh, Thanks, I would mate. like to reiterate that. Nothing to do with Hamish That's Brayshaw. Right. Now, Blue bet will be a little bit of part of this podcast as we go. Yes, doing a couple of little multi bets. We'll be doing yes. um, a couple of little yeah standalones. Standalones, um, potentially some live activations. Just that's maybe right. Getting around town, so blue just, bet will be a big part an, of the podcast. Yeah, keep, keep an eye out. We will be doing some more stuff, but obviously we didn't do a multi last week. We can't really talk about that. Um, and still to confirm a few of the there will be a multi bet things. coming this weekend. Oh yeah, look out for our socials, and we will be um, doing that. Uh, now that we are finished talking blue bet, you. you Ruby's having a little bark up yeah, there. Yeah, Ruby's having a bark. Um, are you happy to bring Hammer back in? Yeah, Hamish, when you're ready to come yeah, back in, we, mate. You, but, but we'll be doing that every week. Hamish, Hamish, just have a little break while we talk about betting. And then, hello, Hammer. Good to see you great again, mate. Back. Yeah, really good. That's actually quite a nice t shirt you've got on there. What's yeah, I you? like the length of the sleeves. Yeah, thanks. It's not mine. Um, hang on a minute. That's okay. Um, it's not yours. No, nah, not mine. I um, I forgot to bring a spare shirt and didn't want to sit here in my um, in my East Perth training kit. Uh, and this was Corey Watts' shirt. He had a spare one in his car. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Corey. I mean, you've been at East Perth training tonight. Yep. Um, Ruben Jinby, there's been some, you know, been some, you know, the boy. Nice little pre season write ups about him. He's mm -hmm. going to play round one. Oh, he, yep, he was swapping off a back flank with Elliot Yo. Happy? Yeah. Uh, very, very happy. He, really? um, he dominated off half back early for us last year, playing league footy as an 18 year old. Went to the state champs and tore it up as a midfielder. Right. Um, so he's a backman. Yeah, he's a backman. We could call and, him yeah, a backman. We could e def comfortably call him a backman. <laughs> um, <laughs> he is we just, love that. just an enormous frame and backers has got every single yeah, backers for backman. I'm probably more of a more than a backers. Probably half closer to Ballarat than I am to Melbourne <laughs> um, for young Reuben. But. Uh, you know that's uh, that's probably where he's at. Um, like Backman, who is going to play round one, and he's a gun. 
very we, good segue to bring love, us in to Backman. We love because Matt. this year on the pod, it's the year of, I mean, every year is the year of the Backman. That's but true. this year, a big focus for us on Backchat is the Backchat Backman's Club. Yes. Lots mm-hmm. of different things we're going to be doing with that. Obviously, we have our Backchat uh, Backman Club merch that we did a little yes, core range of, that but we are going to be, be doing some more of that. I will say, mm-hmm. merch is on the way, guys. Oh, lots of good merch. Lots of it. We want you to buy lots of it too. Yep. Yes. Nah, there's merch on the way, but but I, it just it felt a little hollow for me last year. We just I felt like we didn't give, we forgot where we came from a bit. And when I say we, I mean me. Yep. And when I say me, I mean back chat. Sure. Back chat. Back chat <laughs> is a podcast mm-hmm. for back men. And you know what? Back ladies as well. Yeah, yeah. of course. We got the back, back people. Back, back people. people. <laughs> back chat, Backman's Club, a focus on Backman. We're going to have a Backman's Award this year. I like it We're a lot. Gonna, mm-hmm. I like it a lot. It's not the Golden Fist. It's not the, no, golden, it's not fist. the golden Fist. That already exists. That's a thing. That is a thing. It's the Backman's Award. Cool. It's more... It's more. We all know that, that it's more than spoiling. Being a back is more than spoiling. It's, yeah, it is. It's... Um, Winning contests. Wrestling people. Yep. It's... Um, Annoying people. Spoiling. People. That's spo- I've said spoiling. You've said spoiling. Okay, yep. spoiling. Fisting uh, in the back. <laughs> yes. So... <laughs> Nowhere else, obviously. Without further ado... On the footy field, that's a bit weird. Without further ado, yep. Hamish. Yep. Without few, for the further ado, Daniel. Mm-hmm. I would like to start this pre-season of Back Chat. Episode one of 2023. Massive episode. I think we can just do a little look at the back lines around the league. Mm. All right. We're going to do three teams uh, yep. an don't episode. Worry, we're doing 18. There was a bit no, of no, 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 that was like, yeah, I'm ready. No, oh, yeah, yeah, no, we're not doing 18 this episode. We're going to do <laughs> yeah. three teams a week yep. leading gotcha. into the season. I, I yep. think if my maths is correct, which is very bad, so we threw it to Charlie, who may be worse yep. than yeah. me. What's the date? Uh, what's the he date? Was, he said I the think 20- he said it's 37 degrees today or something. Yeah. 23rd of January. Yep, 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 yep. This will take us right up to round one. Huge. I like so, that a lot. So if I can start with Adelaide. Yeah. Yes, Adelaide. I, I think... Every backline in the competition is good, right? Obviously. And it's the reason, as the saying goes, forwards sell memberships, yeah, they do. mids sign sponsorships, backs win premierships. So the reason your team's going to win the premiership is your backline. Yep. Ipso facto. I don't know how, how else to do it. Sure. So Adelaide, let me tell you about a few players in that team. Understood. Tom Doody. Oh, yeah. Right? Doody. Yep. Doody. I don't know. Yep. I don't care. He's from Geelong. That's about all I need to bloody know. Yep. He's a Geelong backman playing for Adelaide. Got leadership, captaincy written all over him. It's painted, slapped on his face. Is Isn't he it ever? How we, is he, have we I couldn't tell you with any certainty. Okay, very good. He's a key position beast. Nice. He takes the best player every week. Is he a great disposal by foot? Who cares? Doesn't matter. Not, I don't care. <laughs> it's not. No Tom, way. Tom Dode gets the job done one-on-one. Yep. He wins it back. That's all you need to know. What's that, Charlie? You're correcting me over there? No. Okay, thank you. I thought you were giving me a correct <clears throat> pronunciation. I thought I heard Dude. Nah, I, <laughs> yep. I Brody like Smith. Oh, yeah, this guy can play. Do you know about This Brody guy Smith? can play ball. Brody Smith. You chuck, him, you chuck him on the back flank. You put him at full back. He loves taking kick outs. He Doesn't loves he? getting the kick. Yeah, well, he's a back that can kick the football. Loves the ball in his hands. He's got a big monster kick on yeah, him. Yeah, the too. cannon leg. So, McKenzie style. Brody Smith, was he All-Australian last year? We don't know. Yeah, can't, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> he may have been. He, he could have been. been. Oh, well, I mean. If he wasn't, he bloody I'm not a selector, been. but yeah. Brody stick. Smith, gun. Get him in your side if you've got a, a super coach team, you've got a dream team. I don't care. Yep. Jordan Dawson. Oh, hang on a minute. The showdown specialist say no more. <laughs> yes. Shut up and take my money. Thank you very much. Because That's all you need to be said. They get him from the Sydney Swans. Don't they put they? him in the back line. Of course they do. That's what Sydney breeds. I don't know what round it was last year. Who but cares? He's, he's, play, he's playing in the showdown. Where is he? Is he at full back? Is he in the goal square? God, no. This is Scoey in the grand final sort of areas. He is 30 metres out from goal, taking yeah. marks and kicking helicopters through the middle of the goals oh, for a goal. Wasn't that something special? He brought it back from outside the point post through the middle of the goals yep. like a true backman, closed his eyes, <laughs> came straight off his shin, and yeah. he kicked it through, and he celebrated – like every backman has done yep. in the history of it, like he meant it. Yep, amen to that. <laughs> hey, I've done that one on purpose. I think we saw that in one of the highlights just before. Absolutely. Mm. Adelaide, that's why you're winning the flag, yeah, Adelaide. I don't you. know if I can do anything more from you. Brisbane, we're going alphabetical. Understood, okay. understood, can Brisbane. What done I've, I can, I probably picked it a, from Adelaide. I've but. got a bit of a list. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bit of a list and we're going to go with there alphabetically. Mm. Not, I, you know what? I can do their last names alphabetically as well, I think. Can Marcus I? Adams. Wow. 
if you haven't seen Marcus Adams, go and do yourself a favour. There's not a man that looks more like an Adonis. Didn't he injure himself pretty oh badly? Oh my gosh, yeah, he does. He is. Give me a look at him on the screen. Like, he, this man is ripped within an inch of his life. Yeah, he and is. I think he might have ripped something within an inch of his life and he's in a bit of strife. Right, so... Correct he, me if I'm wrong, he but... May, he may be coaching... Look, oh, my, oh my god Look at the man Seriously If you walked out And you were, you were facing him I don't know Bad alley bad He alley. would happily do the podcast With his shirt off That's Harris for sure Andrews Andrews Yeah He's a Geelong boy I'm Isn't pretty he? sure well, He could be I know I'm not he sure is. I know he is Harris <laughs> Andrews Leadership Intercepting Spoils He led the league in spoils last year Did he? Yes he did he, <laughs> I'm not going to correct you on that This man gets Can't be the bothered best fact player. checking He gets the pl- best player every week He gets the big matchups He can see Uzer's leadership He is the quarterback of their team Yeah Harris Andrews you Consistently start. gets it done Darcy Gardner Okay If you want to know about Backman Look at Darcy Gardner He Look Darcy I'm telling you now, mate I love you You can't kick That's fine Who I cares? couldn't either It really doesn't matter at <laughs> AFL level he gets the job, the yep. job done. Day in, day out, week in, week out. Put him in finals, put him on big, put him on smalls. He wears people like a rash. Darcy Gardner wears, I think he wears career savers. I think he wears... Oh, I respect the shit out of that. He's got the big, yep. um, the, the, gel, the gel lethals on. <laughs> the career extenders. Yes, correct. Wow. He's just, a, he just, look, it, you could put him on your back. He's just wear, he wears people like a jacket. I know that jackets don't wear people, but Darcy Gardner. Uh, does we all that. get Figure the expression. Yep, figure that one out. Daniel Rich. Oh, hello, a minute. Hang on, one minute. West Australian left footer, golden locks. Yeah, she gives the ball in his hand, penetrates by foot. <sighs> Probably penetrates other areas. Subiaco Lion. Was he? Yeah, Absolutely, pretty sure he was. Mm. Pretty sure he's he was. He's been over there for a long time, so he's oh, a pseudo yeah. West Australian now these days. I yeah. think he's a gun. And the last Brandon Starsevich. Do you know about Brandon Starsevich? I know about the Stars. Yeah, shit, yeah. I do. Was he all Australian last year? I don't know why I'm looking at you, Dan. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he was, but he very well could have been. He, w- he would have been close to the squad because he got the best small forward every week, yep. and he was the best small defender. I, I reckon he could have been all Australian. Could have been Charlie. Let's see if we can find that. The Stars. Brandon uh, Starsevich. He was the, in the 22, under-22 team in 2021. That's what I was That's thinking. It. That's, That's it. exactly what I was thinking, Brandon Starsevich. <laughs> yeah. You bloody star. Yeah. Mate, they've got Starsevich, Gardner, Adams, just locked down. Pure, they just muscle people. Don't they ever? And then Daniel Rich with one of the great left foots of our time. They're just, just a sexy shoe. Give the ball to Richie. Uh, what's after B? Uh, C, I would think. So I'm going to go with Carl. Thank you very much. The blue baggers. Now... When you say this man's name, just tell me tell me the first word that comes to your mind. Sam Doherty. Erection. <laughs> <laughs> what about Sam Doherty? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, one of the great stories of our time. I isn't called it? him Doherty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inspiration isn't I was looking for. Yeah. Close he's, enough. He's had he's had moments off the field that he showed willpower, he showed mental mm-hmm. strength. He's had, moments, he's had moments away from the footy field that make footy irrelevant. Yep. And you'd think coming onto the footy field that it would fade into, I don't know. Insignificance. Obs- yeah, and obsolete for him given his battles away from the field. It's yep. done the complete opposite. He is an absolute gun. He does it one-on-one. He gets the ball in his hands. He can use it. He can use his voice. He's the captain of the team. I don't know if he can do anything better than Sam Doherty. Yeah, right, right there. He's a man who uh, he has in- reinvigorated himself coming back to the football field. Jacob Wietering. Wow. wow. Star. Uh, the wow. Carl- if you remember about Carlton's start of the year last year, they won something like 10 out of the first 12. Yep. Because of this bloke. Jacob Wietering was playing. Oh, God, yeah. Jacob Wietering hurt himself. Carlton started losing. Yep. Carlton missed the finals by one point. Not saying it's Jacob Wietering's fault. It's the other way around. It's Carlton's fault for not having Jacob Wietering in yeah. the team. Yeah, he's a gun. Adam Saad. Do you know oh, if he was all Australian yeah. last year? I don't think he was, he but was. I certainly couldn't catch him. He was. Adam, was he? Adam Sard was well, all Australian. There you go. Adam Sard, all Australian. And I couldn't physically catch him if I had a bike. <laughs> so, <laughs> Carlton, Star, that's why you're winning. You're just, your back line. Mm. It's a, so, those three teams, they can win the premiership on yep. the back of their back line. Wow. Because backs win premiership. Yeah, it's the men's is. department. Mm-hmm. Understood. That's very it. good. Very yeah, that good. is very good. I'm excited to see where the rest of it will go, but that's a great start. I need to do a little bit more research on the boys because I gave them a bit of love, I know, but I clearly don't know where their stats are. And Charlie wasn't throwing any names at me. You definitely. did guess You did guess right with Adam Sarr. I don't know. I, I knew Adam Sarr was all Australian. You did shoot a few players? shots there, though, to be fair. You shot a few shots. Charlie's just looking at me pressing buttons. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to come 
Joe doesn't, next know, week. Joe yeah, doesn't Joe. know where we are. He doesn't know what day it is. <laughs> yeah. um, to, usually, uh, we will have a, we would have a guest on Wednesday. Ooh, so ooh. today, obviously, this comes out on a Tuesday. Wednesday is when we uh, our guest it was going to be Peter Bowl, but. <laughs> 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 it Dan, was. Uh, Dan misfired there. In, in fairness, like we do reply to each other's stories and stuff. There are, there is. It's not like I just cold hit him up. Like, yeah, no, that's fair. Enough. I think both yeah. Hamish and I, and it's a bit weird that I found like took it that way. But when you said we have a guest, I think we both took it that we're gonna have a guest in here with us. Yeah, I took it that straight yeah, away. So the guest episode is usually comes out Wednesday. So the last guest we had was Jeremy McGovern. Great episode. If yep. you haven't heard it, go back and listen to so it. It's on the back chat feed. On the back chat feed. So Wednesday's guest episode always comes out. Tomorrow is Wednesday, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, technically Tuesday, but on we don't have a guest coming out this week because oh we don't. That's sure. it. That's the answer to that question. We had three guys pull out on us in the first week. Yep. And that and so we're we're putting one next week. We are putting one Great. Next. the first one off the bat though, I can tell you. Pun not intended. Mitch Marsh, the bison. Oh yeah, the bice. So not What's this week. Pun? I missed the pun. Off the bat. Oh. Because he's a batsman. Yeah. And a cricketer. <laughs> and that's right. Crickets have bats. So this week, no guest, but next week, the 1st of Feb, or it might be the 31st of January, whatever that Wednesday yes, is. Charlie. <laughs> Love these dates. Uh, Mitch Marsh. I'm excited about that. We haven't had it. We're recording it tomorrow morning. The Bison. Yeah, the Bison. That's nice. He's a star. So Marshy will be in. We've got some other guys lined up. Uh, to go back on your point, we actually will have some guests on this show that we're doing right now. Yes, we will. Yeah, we're yeah gonna, I like that. We're going to have... We'll mix it up a bit. We've got a little guest list of people that might come in for a little bit of a chat. She yeah. may or may not have some current AFL footballers coming yep, in for beautiful. a chat. Beautiful. Don't know, just might throw yeah. that out there. I like it. What's your brother doing? It's <laughs> a great question. What's Min Woo Lee doing when he gets back? <laughs> um, Damo, we finally get to go to a sting. Come on, hit us with it. Okay. You know the one. Yeah, there it is. You send it. We might read, read it. it. Yeah. If it's good. So... so uh, you send it, we read it. It's a sad day for the podcast, but it's also a happy day. Yeah, I felt last year we read a lot, mm-hmm. and I also felt people took the made-up names to places where they shouldn't have gone. Well, that was a bit of fines, but it was a little bit yep. of you send it, we read it. So we've got a new segment for you. We haven't redone the sting, but we have redone the segment name. It is you sent it. Oh, you're on. <laughs> It it's, sad. it's a sad moment. Yeah, he's, he's choking up. He's emotional, guys. No, he's choking up. <laughs> choking up. It's you sent. <laughs> can't, I can't, can't get through it. I'm going to say it. Just, just to, you just chill, man. You, it's a big day. <laughs> what the hell? Was was like, There's a fault in the matrix. <laughs> Scoey's <laughs> glitching. You send it. We might read it. If you it's send it. We might read it. I'm yeah. not sure what happened there, guys. That wow. was a genuine glitch. Still, glitch in the still of course, brought to you by Leadville Cameras, where you get That's all correct. the cameras. Yeah, you do, you do, you do. Drones. Yep. Uh, there's a great list right here drones. next to Lidmo, Lid, Lidio's head. Here. Cameras, drones, binoculars, telescopes, metal prints, canvas prints, photo albums, picture frames. <laughs> can, we get a metal, can we get a metal print? <laughs> I don't know what it is. We'll have one let's metal get print, a, please. Let's get a metal print. Do you know, I know one more plug <laughs> for, so for Leadville Cameras, what they also do, which I actually got done this week. I'm going to go pick them up tomorrow or the next day. Exciting. Old videotapes, you know, cassette tapes that you what's record on, what's on a on video. Them, no yeah. idea. It's old family memories. Uh, uh, yeah, They're converting it to a file so my parents can watch it for family. the first time. Yeah. They don't have a camera anymore. Dan no being way. born. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's conception. I did say, Leo, I'm really sorry if there's anything sus on there. I have no idea what's on yeah, the that's all, Dan's right? conception, that'd be, a, that'd be a bit sus. <laughs> so, okay, anyway. so it's you send it, we might read it. Yeah. Bought to you by Letterville Cameras. Dot, 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 if it's good. Mm-hmm. So you can send them in, hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. Yes, right. You can send them any email and we will read it. Yes. Just maybe not on air. No, that's it. We'll, we'll read it to read ourselves, it. and if it's good enough, it gets mm. on. When yeah. we originally um, created that, we just no one was sending us an email, so we said, "Let's just up the ante. It doesn't matter what you send, we'll read it." That's we our again. motto. That's our mantra. Twenty-five emails a show, and we couldn't make an own show for sure. it. No, so we are um, still going to read a couple this time round. So I've done the, the the dirty work here, Dan. I've done a little bit of a cull from the off season. Mm-hmm. Just remember being off for almost six weeks, so there was some email sitting around. Mm-hmm. I've left. Some of the best work here for you. And okay, I believe good. what you're going to start with is exceptional stuff. Okay, I haven't seen I haven't any haven't seen any of these, so I'm excited. Okay, so this is from Paul. I don't know who Paul Williams is. Vasectomy send-off. Here we go. <laughs> Fellas, you what send a start. it. We read it. Yeah. And, oh, hang on. My mic here was a bit funny there. You were we'll change it. that. Uh, we'll, we'll, we will read it because it's good. Uh, it's me, the OG vasectomy guy, Paul. <laughs> Uh, like you guys, I've been disappointed in the drop-off in snip stories. It's yep. always great to hear Dan stubble over words such as ejaculation, semen, testicles, and masturbation. <laughs> yeah, great words. Even other great words like scrotum, jizz, and penis. <laughs> scrotum is up there with the great words, isn't it? 
It is. Just really has a nice punch to it. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Jeez. I just wanted to write in and fly the flag one last time. Yeah. If Slips and Rose is going down, I thought it would be fitting to give it a send off myself. What a ride it was. What a ride. Also, yeah. just a quick fuck you to Hammer. Oh, I pride myself enough. on being the fun uncle in the family. Fair enough. You've recently taken my niece, April, who has cerebral palsy on a tour and a tea party at the Eagles headquarters. Um, it was nice. Yep. And when I asked her how Hamish was, I quote April. Hamish was funnier than you, Uncle Paul. So way to shoot a man down in a year when he gets his nuts cut. <laughs> yeah, mate, that's uh, no, nah, that is fair enough. I'll cop that one. Cheers, lads. Happy New Year to everyone except Fuck Hammer. You, Hammer. Yeah, no, fair enough. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. I've done something really nice for your niece who's been having a hard time. That's Fuck great. you. No, well that's done. fair enough, mate. That's I thought that was nice. A bit of humour. Yeah, yeah, yep. A nice little thing, Hammer. Yeah. Looking after. I, the kids I did there run into Paul at the airport once at like four in the morning. It was really weird. Who ran into who? Did you go? Hey, oh, geez, vasectomy, vasectomy guy. guy. Oh, Paul, 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 <laughs> dad. Wow. Shit. Okay. Okay. This is from Hunter Nelson from Huntsman. The is Huntsman. The Philadelphia yeah. Fish guy. Oh yeah, the Huntsman. You remember the Huntsman? Yeah, I remember the Huntsman. Uh, hey, fine fellows. Whoever is in the studio and Hamish. Thank I was you. searching across the YouTube <laughs> platform when I saw this video captioned. Old 64 goat mug. Uh, and he, he said, if you want to include this in the fine section, $5 fine for having an absolute whopping baby face. Anything to say, Dan? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Question mark, mark, question mark. Question mark. <coughs> so what have we got I've here? got the video here. I'm going to drag it across the screen for us because we got the technology to do that. Um, Tell me that's okay. So, what do you want me to do? You want me to, do you want me to play it? Yeah, I'm going to full yeah, screen. Yeah, it. Do you want me to play it and then talk, or do you want me to tell you what it is? Uh, let's watch it. Thank okay. you. Sure. Play it. Wow, this is emotional music. A message from your fans. Yep. Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh my. So it's me working at a print company. What is it you? you sure that's you? Who ate this kid? <laughs> me. Hello <laughs> there. Just holding up a mug. There's nothing in that mug, by the way. No. <laughs> Emotional. Thanks who? To Bill. Bill. Sometimes the loudest sound comes from the thing not making a sound at all. That's true. That's a quote that's on the page at the moment. <laughs> yeah, There's three fucking really look at yeah. That's it. Yeah. Fades so that's a quote. That's a quote I made, by the way. I created that quote. Yeah. Well, it doesn't uh, ring true in any sense of the word. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just Which recap nice. the video yeah. we've okay. just watched. So, yeah. so yeah. at the start, it said a message from your fans, yes. and then it's you. I, I would say young yep. Dan. Uh, Const. Ten years, it was ten years ago. Yep. How old are you there? Uh, 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 22. 22. No, yeah. you're not 22. Yeah, I'm 22. You yeah. look, I was saying, you look 17. Yeah, yeah. I'm 22. Almost so, prepubescent, I would have said. <laughs> yeah. 22 Continue. years yeah. old. So, uh, honestly, like, just, just thinking about your actions there, like, you've made, like, a special mug for someone. You, yes. So. You've come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've been you making go on content to, since a uh, young I'm hoping our people listening could hear that. It's you describing to someone, Bill. Um, yep. How uh, much you love them and that you've put their face on a mug. and Done a lot for you. A made up quote by you. Sometimes yep. the things that Sometimes the louder sound is the thing not making a sound at all. Yep. Um, Which is just factually What incorrect. is that? It's very, like, we Who won't go into that. It's very, like, it's very, like, philosophical and... Um, of course. When, yeah. when can we put those <laughs> mugs on the website as merch? Yeah. So, basically... What was okay, that? So, Bill... Who okay, is Bill? That's a great Bill question to start with. Bill is named Old64Goat on YouTube. Bill is this old man that is probably 75 that, like, fixes his car. He goes and, like, buys stuff from secondhand places. He fixes them up. He buys, like, junk has a huge woodworking garage and he's like oh hello my name is bill like he's this old man living in the southern um parts of i think illinois or something and um we used to watch his videos because they were really bad like we just sat there and watched them they were that bad and and so we made that video me and these two other guys that you saw in that picture um as a it was an it was like it was a troll like it was a it was <laughs> i feel bad about it now honestly like there's part of me that's like man i'm such a bad guy so I made a mug with his face on Who's it. Who's trolled who? <laughs> Who's trolled who? He's trolled you, mate. You're putting YouTube videos he, together and yeah. putting his face so on it. Like, I'm made, such a bad guy. And we, put, and we put it up. And then um, in one of his next videos, he was like, so these guys from Australia made this video for me. I was very thankful. Like, So he's a very genuine old man. 
and you've bullied him. No, <laughs> you are a piece I of shit. Bullied him. I just we made certainly the, sounds the like you bullied him. Video. Um, which you know, the mugs will be available on yep. the website backchatpodcast.com.au yep. forward slash shop at some period of time. Sure, yep. okay, I've got one more email to okay. get through. Uh, okay. If you send it, we might read okay. it. Uh, this is from Phil Hawkins, AFL fixture. Hi guys, love your show. Hurry up and get back to work so I've got something decent to listen to. We're back. We're back. My question is, why does the AFL fixture only go up to round fifteen? It's been possible every other year. Why not now? Can't blame COVID anymore. Makes things hard. Uh, makes it hard to organize things. And how do I try and book time off work to watch the Eagles when I'm not sure what day they are playing? Cheers, Phil. Couple of questions. Yep. Um, <coughs> is there an extra round this year in the AFL? That's I a great think question. I know the I answer. I think so. Yes, I think there is. Number two, the reason that they've stopped featuring at round 15 is because money makes the world go around, doesn't it ever? And it's broadcasting rights, so they want to put the best, best teams, games, the best the matchups, best in the best time slots. Mm-hmm. You know where the games are. You know who's playing who. You just don't know where they are. I yep. believe that's the status at the moment. Could it, easily be. It is the highest. Wait, so they, you know. You know who's playing you, who. You, you know, know the matchups. You okay, know the matchups. Right. Just not where. You know where. Just don't you know just where. don't know when. Could be right. could be Friday night. Could be Sunday. So West Coast are playing GWS, for example, in round eighteen. But you don't know when and what day. Right, right, right. And also because they have the ramifications of, of wins and stuff. in. So, you know. so there was this huge blow up, right, um, uh, in our break. Um, the A-League, they sold the grand final to, a new, to New South Wales mm-hmm. for three years. And there was a huge fan blow up. The league doesn't care about the fans. They only care about the money. This is the version of AFL. They couldn't... They, Unfortunately, and it's and it's not a bad thing. This is a business. Yep, they care more about um, money. Yeah, well, money, but 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 pleasing the broadcasters because that's where the money comes in. Yep, they got to know where your bread's buttered. People are going to go. People are going to go to the games, no matter where they put when they put them. They want the best matchups for broadcast. Yep, that's why. Yep. Okay. I don't know if you have anything else to add to that. No, nah, that's pretty much it. And I think for filthy Phil, it's uh, <laughs> if it's around fifteen plus fixture that you're looking for. Um, try and catch as many games as you can before round 15. Very good. You Organize yourself. You never know when, the next, know when the next game is. Well, very morbid. <laughs> but can, I, can, can I do the okay. next exciting announcement? Would you like me to leave? No, go on. No, you do it. Fines are still going to exist, ladies and gentlemen. That's yeah. nice to know. But we've made some more changes, Hamish. Sure. Oh, th- and listening along, we haven't told Hammer about any of these changes we've made. Nothing at all. I like to go on the fly. Fines, they exist. How cool. do you submit them? Not by emailing. Great. It used to be hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. Excitingly, due to some absolute genius work on the website by none other than myself. So yeah, if it well doesn't done. work, blame Dan. Yeah. Backchatpodcast.com.au forward slash fines. <laughs> you need to orally submit them. Do you also need to orally tell what your name is? Yes. Yeah, I think that would be nice. So <laughs> so you can go on a website, backchatpodcast.com.au forward slash fines, click on the lovely little button I got there and you can record your fines into the website and we will, one, go through them with a bit of a fine tooth comb and just pick the yep, best ones. Sure and two, you have the chance to be featured <coughs> on the podcast, your voice, not just Dan reading your voice or me reading your, your letters, whatever you... This is your voice, your time. I'm bloody excited about yeah. it. I'm excited. It also gives you, and, and we used to say no, um, what's the rule? No um, no rebuttals. No rebuttals. Now, Warning, disclaimer. Yeah, this is now the ultimate time for a rebuttal. If you hear your you name, if you hear yourself getting called out for something yeah, for a fine, shit, yeah. then you go, hang on, F you, John Dawkins. We from, can rebut him. Yeah, you want yep. a fine sky for stuffing the fines button up because it yep. doesn't work? If it works, I'm going to come at you. Yep. Sure. If you find your mate at... Get them to jump on and yeah, you can, like you can rebut. Yep. Yep. Send this it to your mate. Say, I've just <coughs> called you out in this podcast. If you've got something to say, put up a message. We will be uh, raising money for charities. We did that last year. Um, at the moment, Men's Talk, Soccer to Sarcoma, Sabre, other three charities we're running with. If you'd like to see any other featured, drop yep. us an audio line yeah. over yeah. the podcast. Yep. Backchatpodcast.com.au forward slash finds. I've got, th- oh, I've got two final features written in. Is that okay. all right? Yeah, fines. I want to find Fines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that fine? Oh, and the... There we go. Is that fine if I do that? Can I do that? Yeah. Who gets the fine? Old mate at the dog beach. One dollar. Fair enough. For taking his dog to the dog beach without any plastic bags and trying to cover it up, uh, the dog shit put it in the sand for porn. Uh, Poor poor porn. For porn. Poor porn. (laughs) Tried to cover it in the sand for porn. Don't know who's watching that sort of porn, dog shitting at the beach. 
P.S. My surname is pronounced Kamada. Nino Kamada. I'm only <laughs> saying this as the last time. Scully absolutely butchered my surname. <laughs> and I know you're trying your best, as plenty of other people butcher it too. Sure. I may have butchered it again, Nino. I apologise. Uh, and uh, finally, um, from one of our favourites, Mike Oxmall sends in <laughs> Dan is. 50 cent fine and me 50 cent fine, total about $1. Ever since hearing Dan is the king of honking in Perth a few months ago, I reckon I've honked my horn about 13 times since then. 50 cents for Dan Brilliant. for being a bad influence and 50 cents for me for honking at people. There is a bit of me that does enjoy it though. That's, there you go. That's the last of the last fines. Well done, Mike. Um, send them in. Emails coming to hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. Send in your fines, backchatpodcast.com.au forward slash. Fines. I tested the button earlier. It works a treat. You literally just hit record. Did you leave a fine? Oh, I tried when 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 we were setting up the website and you did good. Okay. Great. I was really well really done. proud of your work there well on, done, the, well on, done, well on the website. I'm sweating a lot. You were, yeah, you, <laughs> you are. were sweating. It was like um, perspirating. It was like a hacker typing code in. I'm going to lose some weight, boys. Like, yep. I've got 10 kilos to lose. Let's. I think we're about been, done here. Yeah, we're about done. Uh, just one quick little thing. Uh, Patreon. Yes. If you're not on Patreon. You need to be. There's some great stuff be. coming out in the next little while. Some behind the scenes stuff, some extra content, uh, plus VIP discount co- uh, codes for Whippersnapper Whiskey, Margaret Roasting, Roasting, yeah, nice. Bluebet, Shelter and Leadville Cameras, of course. Yes. Uh, $5 a month. That gets you in the door. Yes. Coffee a month. Brilliant. Coffee a month. Absolutely yeah, that's really brilliant. nice. And, and I remember the last one on was... Our website. Yeah, sign up on our website. Well, the last one was eating those stupid gummy bears. Mm, which we'll never do again. We'll never do that, again. That is up on there. If you want to see us eat the hottest thing ever... I have that's no interest still. in doing that ever again nah, in my and life. And I'll tell you we what I have no interest... We haven't had a bit of a chance yeah. to talk about that. The that no was interest the that I have. That was not fun at all. But what was even less fun was shitting it out the next day. With the milk. You it out like and I. It was just horrible. Yeah. In one way, out the other, both just as bad. Thank you, Kat, for sending Good on you, Thank you, Kat. Right. Right right, we're going to keep this going a little bit for our patrons. To the rest of you. Why wouldn't we? Yeah. We'll see you next week. Great see you next week. Good to be Bye-bye. back. Bye.